Okay, everybody, this is Mooney Dashcam. Today we are in Queens tonight, dusk. What do we call this? We're in Queens, Mass with Queens. We're going to the Goodfellas Diner, which was actually the Clinton Diner back in the day. Either way, it's where uh, Robert De Niro and Ray Liotta sat down when Robert De Niro found out that Tommy De Simone got killed and after Henry Hill gets arrested. Obviously, uh, Rob De Niro is playing Jimmy Burke in real life, Jimmy Conway in the movie. It is at 5626 Massmouth Avenue. We are in Massmouth, if I didn't mention that. All right, let's flip this around and get into it. Who else brings you a good sunset like this? Come on, sunset over Queens. All right, so we're going to the diner now. Like I said, it was a diner that was, uh, all those things were filmed at. I'll put in as, as much of the clips as I can as YouTube will allow me to put into the video. Um, it used to be called the Clinton Diner, and then after the success of the movie, they renamed it the Goodfellas Diner, which a lot of people like didn't really like. Just leave your diner the name that it is. I kind of agree, but whatever. And then it had a lot of success. It was in a lot of TV shows. It was actually in TV shows and movies. It was in... Uh, Good Wife, Six Ways to Sunday, The Americans, and Elementary, TV shows and movies. Then, sadly, June 11th, 2018, at 4.30 p.m., the diner burned. It burned a good amount. Oof, jeez, you people. I gotta pay attention more to driving these videos. Burned a good amount. Uh, the woman, it was a husband and wife that owned the place. The wife said, everything is destroyed. My God, everything is destroyed. We were a Greek couple, which is uh, pretty common. Uh, Greek people own diners in New York. It's a very common thing. Uh, you know, I'm not stereotyping. It's just what it is. Oh, look at this sunset. You guys are really getting a treat today. Like I said, I'll play as many of those clips as I can. We're a couple minutes away here, not even. So now this is where Jimmy found out that Tommy D. Simone wasn't getting made. He's all excited that Tommy D. Simone's gonna get made because it means a lot for their crew, for Jimmy and for Henry Hill. That like it legitimizes their crew, their little organization they have going on. Because Henry Hill and Jimmy Burke in real life could not get made because they weren't 100 percent Italian. So, the fact that Tommy D. Simone was possibly getting made, good move right there, um, was a lot for them. It gave them the respect and the credibility that they would want in the Mafia. So, Jimmy Burke's all excited. The thing that made Jimmy so happy that morning was that this was the day that Tommy was being made. Jimmy was so excited, you'd think he was being made. Jimmy Conway's all excited in the movie. He's calling Tommy D. Simone a bunch of times throughout the day. Eventually, he goes outside to the phone booth. I'll show you exactly where that phone booth was. And gets on the phone, and the guy's like, he's like, how'd it go? He's like, there was nothing we could do. I'll show you a scene. Well, you know what I mean. He's gone. And we couldn't do nothing about it. He said, fuck. Jimmy Burke flips out, breaks the phone, loses his mind, starts crying, because he really liked Tommy D. Simone. And then this is also the place where, after Henry Hill gets arrested, the famous arrest scene when he's getting followed by the helicopters, and they finally um, catch him at his house, pulling up, which by the way, I do know the arresting officer on that case. I know him very well, that's besides the point. After the arrest, he gets out of jail, and he meets with Jimmy there. And Jimmy is kind of sniffing him out to see if he ratted. It's like a very tense, you know, he said that Jimmy didn't eat any of his food that was on the table. Pull up to the, to the place now. You'll recognize it instantly if you remember the movie well. All these trucks are in front of it now. So yeah, he was kind of trying to figure out if 
Henry Hill ratted on him while he was arrested, which he didn't at that time yet. We all know the story, how that goes. Henry Hill ended up cooperating, but at this sit down, uh, Jimmy asks Henry to go to Florida and kill somebody, which he never asked him to do, say hi to the truck. And that kind of tipped Henry Hill's um, suspicion that he probably would have never came back to Florida if he went and did the hit. Why is it always windy when I film this? It's terrible. We'll do a full walk around. It's, it's kind of like a car lot now. I don't really understand what a... Uh, See, after it burned, I believe it never really recovered. They never recovered from it financially. Go around back. Old Mustang here. And there's a cool old truck. I came, I came over here before. There's a door. Is this a rear engine truck? Someone uh, let me know. Oh, it's a Volkswagen, okay. Yeah, I know, you don't have to explain now. Got a nice shot back here. You can tell it really hasn't been touched. Goodfellas Diner right there. Now it says truck stop. Or maybe it said truck stop then too because we are close to, we're in an industrial area. Look at the sunset. So it's a big, uh, a lot of trucks come through here. So they might've been trying to advertise that it was like a truck stop. Now this window, one of these windows is where they sit in one of the scenes, in the scene after Henry Hill gets arrested. He wanted to make sure I wasn't tailed. He was jumpy. He hadn't touched a thing. But I had the feeling Jimmy was trying to sense whether I was going to rat him out to save my neck. There was one, I'm not exactly sure which one, but it was one of these. And then, let's, let's slip through here. It's one of the doors. Fake plants. And then that second window in right there, I believe is the one when Tommy D. Simone, when they get the news that Tommy D. Simone was killed. It was like a kid. We had money coming in through my Pittsburgh people, and even after a while, the Lufthansa thing began to calm down. They had a signal all set up so he'd know that the minute that the ceremony was over. But Jimmy and I could never be made because we had Irish blood. It didn't even matter that my mother was Sicilian. As far as Jimmy was concerned, with Tommy being made, it was like we were all being made. We would now have one of our own as a member. Now, let's get a wide shot. Before we get the wide shot, let's just... In the scene when there, when Tommy Simone's about to get made but really killed, that is in the background, so look out for that. This building right here. That's how you know this is really the diner. Okay, across the street now. Um, you guys have never seen the back of my truck before. This is a good fellow's diner. I wish these trucks weren't in front so we could get a real good look. We gotta get the full shot with the, with the sunset. I mean, come on, come on. What are we doing here? Beautiful. That's how my grandmother says beautiful. By the way. All right, and then these are windows up here. You can see right in, and it's pretty much like they just left. They just up and left and didn't really take any. I mean, there's like coffee cups on the table still. Let me grab a rag so I can wipe this window. Okay. 
right over here. Ah. The doors. You guys see good in there? All you guys are seeing is Muhammad Ali on my shirt. Alright, one second here. That's better. Clean, good old fashioned window clean. I mean like, it's a... Uh, there's water on the floor in there, there's probably a leak somewhere. It's the same as the movie. You see these red stools? Look out for that, you'll see it in the scene doesn't happen that way. There aren't any arguments or curses like in the movies. So your murderers come with smiles. We'll go over to this window. Still a coffee cup on the table. Kind of crazy. All right, back to the truck. I wanted to get my truck out of the way real quick so we could get a nice shot. Um, right about here is where the phone booth would have been. As you can imagine, I'll give you this shot as if Jimmy's in the phone booth and you see behind. He was concerned with Tommy being made it was like we were all being made. Because in, in the movie, you watch Henry Hill walk down the steps right about to here. Yeah, they whacked him. It's fucking whacked. Oh, fuck. Where Jimmy Burke is. Alright, now back to the truck for real. Oh, look at this here, too. It's like a really weird lot. Car with no motor. What's under here? Can you guys talk from the wheels? Oh, no wheels. Okay, that's pretty much everything I have to tell you about the Goodfellas Diner, where all that filming went on for Goodfellas. Um, did I try and get in there for you guys? Maybe. Can't confirm or deny. Um, Alright, I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed.